This video is about reactants, the opposition to the flow of AC in a circuit. And this video is going to be about capacitive reactants. To show the effect of capacitive reactants, I'm going to be using a signal generator that can generate a signal at 100 hertz all the way up to 1 megahertz and two capacitors a dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor and a 500 picofarad capacitor and we're going to take a look at both at the same time as I raise the frequency from 100 hertz to 1 megahertz using a dual channel scope here we're at 100 hertz. The top trace is the dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor. The bottom trace, the green one, is the 500 picofarad capacitor. And I'm slowly raising the frequency from 100 to 1000 hertz, which is right here. Now I'm going to turn it all the way back and then do a times 10 which will start at 1000 Hertz and I'm going to slowly raise it up until we get to 10,000 Hertz and you can see that the 500 picofarad capacitor is now letting AC through just about as much as the dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor. Now I'm going to do a times ten. I'm not going to back it back down. I'm just going to do a times ten. And you can see that they're both con conducting about the same. I'm going to change the scanning so you can see that it's still a sine wave. And I'm going to do a times 10 again, which now is 1 megahertz. I'll change the scanning again so you can see the sine wave. So both capacitors are allowing about the same amount of energy, AC energy, through. What we saw in this short video was that as I raised the frequency, the capacitive reactance of the 500 pico farad capacitor decreased. Its AC resistance decreased. Now the dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor is so large that it passed all those frequencies at the same level. Knowing about capacitive reactants can be very useful in detector circuits of AM radios and FM radios. Quite often capacitors are chosen to remove RF signals unwanted RF signals from the audio signal. Here is a circuit I'm going to use to demonstrate this. We've got our generator set to output RF and we go through a 100k ohm resistor and another 100k ohm resistor and we're going to be putting audio through a 10k ohm resistor and all that is going to go to channel 1 of the oscilloscope. And we're going to see what happens when I short the 500 picofarad capacitor to ground. All I have hooked up to the circuit is the RF right now. 
and I've changed the scale so you can see that we do have RF there. And I'm going to add the audio here. And the audio is hard to see because the two frequencies are far apart. So I lowered the scan rate so you can see the audio. And I'm going to now connect the ground to that 500 picofarad capacitor. And you can see now that all the RF is gone and now we have nice clean audio. I hope this video helps you understand about capacitive reactants. As the frequency increases the capacitive reactance or AC resistance of the capacitor decreases. And also, how useful this can be. Thanks for watching.